Hello, Sagittarius. Let's see what kind of week you're going to have. All right. So, in your previous reading, you all learned in this week of learning, this weekend of learning, that you moved on from some energies. You learned some things, right? Let's deja vu for you all. Learn some things. So, you can make sure your calendar is clear this week so that you can um, fill your knowledge up, book knowledge, right? Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's go. All right. Eight of Swords here. Here we also had a Devil card. You're no longer talking to somebody. You ended a relationship with them altogether. Okay. You ended a relationship with somebody altogether. Stop talking to somebody altogether. Sagittarius. It'll be a Capricorn, actually. Something is over. Mm -hmm. yep. You have made a decision. There's nothing else to talk about. You have made a decision. Lover's card is about partnerships and business and or in love. You made a, somebody has made a decision. And it's also about decision that is just too dysfunctional. You you decide you know a teen they're on. Here we have the three of pentacles here. And um here we and something has kept you focused. Here we have the knight of swords here. Um yeah, you see the cracks in the foundation. You see you now you something is very clear the cracks of foundation. What the cracks of the foundation of somebody is, what you're dealing with is an energy who can, like I said, be bought out. Something is very deja vu, like something you've experienced something. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you hear people say they don't get along with certain zodiac signs, right? This may not be exactly that, but some of you all may have said, you know, you start to notice certain things with certain types of energies when it comes to material possessions, um, family, material possessions, money, houses, cars, whatever. Um, people's love language could be different than yours. Like some of you all could love to a fault and not realizing that you riding hard for some people. But as soon as money is involved, uh, as soon as, a ch you know, money, property, Anything that's of value to them, you realize that you are less valuable to them than something that's being dangled in their face. That's when you have made a decision. Oh, wow. I guess we weren't friends. Oh, wow. I guess we you didn't love me like I loved you. Oh, wow. I guess. Right. So that's what somebody is starting to realize. That's when somebody is starting to realize and that's how it happens sometimes. That's what got somebody focused. That's what really, really got somebody to a point of just like laser focused. Now you're laser focused. That's when you realize there's just cracks in a foundation. That's when you realize what team certain energies are on. So yeah, so there you go. You're back in the saddle again. Back in the saddle again. Here we have the six of wands and that's, that puts you in winning. Here we have the world card. So yeah, you're closing out cycle. New tradition for you. New tradition. What you all are establishing in a new tradition here is learning love language right up front. Somebody is learning how to talk up front. Like about what people's love language is. And you're learning how to balance it out. And being cool, calm, and collected. Right? This is you right here. Like learning how people manipulate other people around them like how they use people to get what they want that's what somebody is learning how to it's like um when you have friends who like okay see we talking about we talking about workplace well it could be family or work it could be both in the personal and professional life Y'all, you saying like in the in the workplace how um, it, it may be not as obvious in the workplace. A lot of people say, "Oh, this is work." You don't have friends in the workplace, but like let's say for his family, how some people <clears throat> really there's no there is no uh, uh, their definition of family is not the same as yours. In other words.
So here we have the Knight of Pentacles. So something is getting you back to work. You're starting to see, you're starting to see where people are masking something. So something puts you back in balance. So if you were out of balance and confused and we weren't really sure and something threw you out of focus, you're focused now. Something you're focused now. You have as much, you have information, all the information that you need. You have all the physical information that you need, right? That's where your breakthrough is coming in. You're not even asking why. You know exactly who is behind something now. Now you know exactly who is behind what, right? And the environment that they're in. Here we have the Seven of Cups. Whether they're drinking, partying, they on drugs or something. Something is some kind of environment. They're in a very poisonous environment. You already know who's behind what. So that's what somebody is that's what somebody is seeing now your blindfolds are now off if you were at an impasse you're not an impasse anymore somebody is crystal clear about the players involved in something so yeah you don't need to be at an impasse yeah here we have the lover's card yeah so yeah so somebody's partners in crime There's some energies that are partners in crime and you're closing out the cycle. Your something has been fulfilled. Like whatever mystery you were trying to figure out who was partners in something, you have figured it out. You have figured it out. Who was on the three people that was on a team together, you have figured it out. Who was playing mind games? Who was playing a game of chess? The blindfolds have now been revealed. But I feel like for you, um, Sagittarius, you've been figured something out. You, you've been figured something. I mean, like... Sometimes people keep going back to keep just getting more and more and more information. <laughs> like I don't. So here we have seven, eight. Yeah. So yeah, you it's something. It's two situations in particular. You just kept going back and back and back. Like, yeah. But something, something got you focused this week. So now you're, now you're, like I said, you're focused. You're focused. Something got you focused. Yeah. So you feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Your prayers are even gonna change. It's gonna be totally different now. Yeah. Here, your third eye is open. That's a breakthrough right there. Your third eye is wide open. Yep. Now you're pouring into you. Pouring into you. Yep. Five of cups here. Mm-hmm. Three of pentacles. Something was grossly misaligned. Here's the um, three of pentacles here. Something was grossly misaligned here. Somebody was um, <clears throat> dealing with some very shady energies, having something having to do with music, dealing with some very shady energies, um, who just, like I said, was very immature when it came to money. Somebody was very immature when it came to money. And, um, you know, wearing a mask when it came to money. Dealing with some very shady energies when it came to money. Maybe borrowed some money or did something when it came to money and could not could not, you know, align themselves with the wrong energies when it came to money. It had nothing to do with you, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you figure something out. There's a hermit card. You figured something out. Here's the um, Six of Pentacles here. So source has um, source has approved you to like I said your third eye is now open about something because some people align themselves with some energy something having to do with music something was very misaligned um, um, just take what resonates with you all Sagittarius take only what resonates with you because you didn't see this you couldn't have seen this. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen this. Somebody would have put you in a um somebody would have put you in a in a survival mode situation, like financially would have put you in survival mode situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But see, so two energies would have put you in survival mode situation financially, would have put you in survival mode situation. But they're having a tower moment now because you see what people didn't want you to see. You got focused. There's two situations that um, 
It's two energies that align with some energies they were working with. This is Knight of Pentacles. It's like a person who's working. They're working with um, some energies, you know. They were very immature when it came to money. Something having to do with, you know, being a part of a team with some shady energies. Looking at your cards here. They were wearing some kind of mask about something. Um, wearing some kind of mask about something. Yeah. Here we have the um, Ten of Cups here. Um, so, but on the back end for you, I'm seeing, um, divine, you know, divine connections with you, like divine, uh, connections. They were just wearing, like I said, wearing some kind of mask as far as family is concerned, you know, trying to put on some kind of image as far as family is concerned, but yeah, putting on some kind of image as far as family is concerned, trying to make it seem like. Uh, kind of put on some kind of image as far as family is concerned. An Im a, a false image. That's why you see the clown mask here. Put on, put on some kind of false image. But something was very, very out of alignment. Very, very out of alignment. Very, like I said, misaligned. So, yep. Source allowed you to leave a bunch of distractions behind. So, good for you. Good for you. And when, yep, the chariot car. So, source of actually, you taking the high road, and like I said, stop talking to certain people. Just this time, make sure you end it completely. You you have no more conversation with some. I mean, none. There's nothing to talk about because here's the hermit card here. Somebody had access. See this person opening up this laptop right here. Somebody had access to your um, your emails or your at your um, your laptop or something like that. Be very careful about who this is. This, um, this hermit card right here. Be very um, careful about who you are allowing in your house. If somebody's in hermit mode, so be careful about who you allow in your house. Especially if you have people who have access to your router and stuff like that. Be very careful with that because somebody, this person right here, somebody has access to your stuff. Somebody had or have access to your stuff. Be very careful because somebody is a hermit crab. Like you stay in the house a lot. You don't come out the house. And so if you if you're a person who only has like limit you only have certain people in your house, you know exactly who did what. And they're ruthless. Here we have the Knight of Wands. Keep them out of your house for good. They should have no more access to your house ever. Three of Wands. Just leave them behind. Leave them behind forever. There it is, the Eight of Cups. Your head and heart should never be at war with them ever again. Just leave them behind. See this right here? Five of Pentacles right here. You you getting way too many signs about this energy or these energies right here. They give you the cold shoulder after they get what they want. You know, like they warm up to you when they, until they get what they want. Then they give you the cold shoulder again. You know your worth and know your value because you, you ever heard people say stuff like um, when you let certain people in your house after they leave certain things like your peace, your joy your um your laughter comes up missing it's energy it's like your good energy comes up missing like sometimes you get off the phone with certain people you just drain they're energy vampires certain um it's it's bigger than just like cups and plates and stuff flatware come up missing it's your energy your good energy is just drained you don't even feel like your it, it's your money like your your it's uh <clears throat> your value you feel devalued when you leave their presence you feel just like they do when you leave their presence like you just feel bad when you leave their presence so it's bigger than just the material possessions right it's like getting an email from a manager that just says as as much work as you put in during this quarter you just didn't do enough and you've been working so hard. Now you feel like, okay, you no matter what you do is never enough. So you feel devalued. All of that came through a portal, an email, right? So then you feel like, man, no matter what I do, I'm still not valued in this company. At that very moment, if you've been there, it's time to start looking for another job. And the same thing here. Don't ever let this energy back through your doors, ever. No matter where you move, don't ever let them back in your house. Tap into your strength. Don't ever let them back in your house because they're in survival mode. 
And if they would do that to you, don't ever let them back in. I don't care who they are. Don't ever let them back in your house. I don't care if it's, and it's not you holding a grudge. You're just not holding space. If they didn't know what their value was at that point, they could be on drugs. They could be whatever the situation is. They could be out of their mind. They could be under a spell. It does not matter. Even if at some point you decide, you know, you're talking to them again, meet them out somewhere in public somewhere in a, the, the neutral location. They should never have access to your house again. Never. So schedule a vacation. It's time to do a heart chakra cleanse, throat chakra cleanse. You have the gift of telepathy. That's crown chakra cleanse. That's the transference of thoughts, feelings, or ideas, whether intuitively, emotively, or super consciously. The best is yet to come. They are a drew. They're kind of a malevolent, nocturnal associate spirit associated with nightmares. They're not happy without you. It's all becoming clearer now. The new one is extra special for somebody who... I feel like somebody may be getting married. Um... But you have a, um, hmm. yeah, somebody who has new love coming, I'm looking at the lover's cards, you have new love either in business and or in love. So you're a romantic, if you're romantically linked with somebody, you may have a new business partner coming across your path, but your new home awaits, somebody's actually moving. Yeah, you're getting as far away from them as possible. Put yourselves first. Treat yourselves to a spa day. But the messenger of God is with you. Your enemy's playing backfire. Close up the cycle in love. Somebody was trying to box you in. Like basically trying to make you look like you were crazy for some kind of financial gain. Your inner child is very proud of you. But your bitter ex's lover wants you just sick. That's what somebody was dealing with. People keep realizing like anybody can use a pick me. Anybody. They can use family members who are pick me's. That's why a lot of people, when they get to like certain status of like making money and just like believing in your own purpose, and you add structure and stuff to, you can't trust anybody around you. There be anybody can be used. You got family members; it'll show cracks in a the foundation. They use anybody. Get some information from them. What are they doing now? You know, so on and so forth. It'll show any kind of cracks in a foundation, and that's what somebody is learning. People that you thought was friends. That's what somebody's learning. Yeah. So. Here we have the nine of um, wands here. You're definitely, like I said, you're never letting them back in. Never. <clears throat> I don't care what the circumstances are. They could be in your neighborhood about to urinate on themselves. They better go find somewhere else to use the bathroom. They're going to think you're the one that's ruthless. Oh my God, I can't believe you let me use the bathroom. Yeah. What you did? Mm -mm. Nope. You're never doing an injustice to yourselves again, ever. Nope, nope, nope. They are vain, vengeful, and green with envy. And those are the energies they align themselves with. So, nope. You're taking a leap of faith and getting as far away from them as possible. Ace of Swords. You don't even need to know what the motive is. You're not even asking why. That's just their spirit. That's how they are wired. That's an inherited burden. That's a burden that they've inherited. So get your rest. That's an that's a burden that they inherited that they don't know their worth and their value. They don't want to go back to school. They won't invest in their knowledge and education to know their worth and their value. It's just pure laziness. They just that's how they inherited. That's how they inherit their um so sit yourself on your, your throne. Increase your worth and your value. Something about your free spirit and the fact that you all love to learn and kind of, you know, travel and live your life just really sets them to a whole nother of level of anger and frustration. Mm -mm. And this week you're going to be increasing, investing more in yourselves. You don't want to have anything to do with them. You are limitless. Yep, so there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It's time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. That's it. That's why I said to you all, it's never. It's not just about somebody physically coming into your house and stealing your plates and bowls and cups and, you know, you got shoes and purses or wallets missing. <laughs> it's your peace, <laughs> your peace of mind. You get off the phone with people. You get emails and text messages from people and you just like confused. Like, why would they do such and such? 
So it's the same. Listen, mm -mm. don't let it happen again. And then they'll try to clear it up, make it seem, uh uh, nope. That's what I have for you all. Make it a fantastic week. Make it a fantastic week. Let's see, we got one last oracle card. And one last oracle card. They want to be a part of something so bad. And these are people that's close to you, these are family members. Blood relatives and people you could once call family, whether they could, some of them could be blood relatives and some of them may not, but they once called family. Mm -mm. Kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I'm full of goodwill towards those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. Put this out into the universe because that's what you want to come back. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. That is the energy you want to put out into the universe, those affirmations, because that is what you want to come back to you. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.